Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me for our June 2018 tarot reading, and this will be for the sign of Leo. And as I shuffle the deck, I'm asking our light beings, angels, and God, please provide the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. At the beginning of the month, we'll take a card from the top. Middle of the month, we're going to take a card from the center. And the end of the month, we're going to take a card from the bottom. Okay, so what do we have here? <clears throat> we have the King of Swords. And what energy is that in the beginning of the month to start June? Okay, the King of Swords is the kind of person, okay, that analyzes things. He's a very forceful type of person, okay. He has a one-track mind, and when he sets a goal, he definitely achieves it. He sees whatever is to come to fruition. He's a, a very nice person. However, he's very determined. Okay? So it's possible that maybe in the beginning of the month, this is a person, okay, that's going to be appearing in the beginning of the month that you know. Or it could possibly just be the energy that surrounds you in the beginning of the month. Okay? You're going to have to use your maybe your critical thinking, okay, on something in the beginning of the month. Okay, and you're going to have to maybe get something done that needs to be done and needs to be done immediately. Um, it could also be someone of an authority figure, okay, in the beginning of June. Okay, but this person is a very competitive person, and you may be feeling some type of competitive energy surrounding you in the beginning of June. And by the middle of the month, we see the Nine of Swords, and this woman is just exhausted. She's just laying down. She's just, <laughs> she's out. <laughs> and you have these Nine Swords above her. And, and the card could look pretty intense, okay? Starting with the King of Swords, and then here we are with the Nine of Swords. A lot of energy here in the beginning of the month. And what this is telling you is, whatever you're going through, it's not as bad as it seems, Okay, I don't want to say this is a woman being a drama queen, but we can all, at one time or another, allow our emotions to take over us, okay, and, and, and think that things are worse than they actually are, okay, and you don't want to give in to any kind of dramatics in the middle of the month is what I'm saying. You might be feeling like the victim, okay, that maybe this authority figure or this person, this, this man, Okay, has led you to feel this way. Like you just feel like, you know, you're you're exhausted and worn out from the whole situation. But things are going to settle down. Okay. Um, this is a woman that lays awake at night worrying about things. If you're a man, it could be you as a man laying in bed thinking about stuff. I know I've been there. And you know what? It's not worth a sleepless night because things are going to work out. Okay. Everything happens for a reason. Because by the end of the month, we have the Ace of Wands. And of course, this card is so dark and bleak and, 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 and depressing. But look at the sun's coming out. Okay, The sun is shining over the city down here in the valley. There's beautiful flowers growing, this butterfly. The energy lifts. This Ace of Wands is a beautiful way to end the month. After feeling like maybe someone's being forceful with you in the beginning of the month, to being very exhausted, okay? You have this to look forward to at the end of the month. And this is telling you, okay, that maybe you're going to be uh, moving to a new home, maybe starting a new job. There's the beginning of something that's very beautiful at the end of the month, okay? It's a sign of a new beginning. So maybe you cut loose whatever this is that's, that's dragging you down and causing the drama in your life. Maybe you're letting somebody go from your life that is just too draining. We all have people like that in our lives that, you know, it's just one thing after another. Negativity, you know, whenever you're around them, you're feeling your energy just being sucked out of your body. Um, so maybe you're letting something go here and you're having a bright new beginning, okay? And you're feeling very optimistic. So after the situation in the middle of the month, things improve drastically by the end of the month. And maybe there was a lesson that had to be learned in order to help you grow. Okay, but you're feeling very optimistic, a very beautiful new beginning at the end of the month for you. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.